guys, thanks for stopping back at the Cranberry Cornstalk YouTube channel, the channel where we share our love for primitive decor. We've got another video for you this week. We were in the shop making soaps and we made my least favorite product for primitive decor. Oh, it's, I dread it every year. It's potpourri and I'll explain to you why. Making potpourri, you put all of your botanicals together in a great big airtight tub like a huge tub that you fill up with your different botanicals, whatever your look that you're going for to add your scent oil to. And honestly, I dread it and I'll tell you why. I dread it because whenever the leaves are in there fresh and they're just a little bit bendy and they're dehydrated and ready for potpourri, along with some other things, they don't want to bend. Whenever you're putting them together and stuffing them in the brown sacks for uh, sale, to, to resell or to wholesale them out, um, they don't want to go in there. You're stuffing them in and the flying back out because they're flexible and, you know, I think as things dry more, they're more crunchy and they break. Well, we don't want them to break. We like our big, um, big leaves and our potpourri and our big, pine cones and all the things like that. So whenever we put the potpourri in the sacks, they're still flexible and they're beautiful, but they want to fly back out of the paper sacks. It drives me crazy. So that's the one thing I'm sure you guys have projects that you work on, you dread doing, but it's always worth it. And our potpourri sells extremely well here. I can't even keep it made. I made about 48 bags this time around, but I've been sold out since last Oh, about six months now I've been sold out of the potpourri. Maybe not quite that long, but I've never had such a stretch where I can't seem to keep up. It's very popular. The popular set is Sun Sweet Settle. That is the one that everybody seems to like. It's a beautiful, homey smell. I always use that for a description, but it's real. It's a sweet smell, but it's just a touch of citrus. I'm not talking lemon. I'm talking more like an orange, you know, or primitive smells that we love. Um, a little more orange, spicy that type of thing and it has uh big bay leaves in very flexible and some potka pods in there you know the look that we all like but my point is these little buggers don't want to go in the bags and it's hard to i get frustrated whenever you're trying to do something and you're constantly redoing it so you stuff the potpourri in the bags and it flies back out in the container and you just keep doing it over and over again but that's just me i'm sure you guys have projects like that that you don't like working on but it's worth it in the end um that's what we did this week making i told you we were making soaps and uh, that's about all i have for you this channel guys if you've never been here before this is a channel where we make things we sell them to wholesale dealers so that you can buy them from your retail shops we're a wholesaler we sell them to the retailers so you can buy them in your local gift shops if you if you've never heard of us tell your local gift shop that you'd like to see us them get us in it's the cranberry corn stock I keep bumping that table. It's a cranberrycornstock.com. They can reach out to us wholesale to, to wholesale their items. Um, if you'd like to see, a, if you'd like to purchase directly from us and skip the middleman, you can go to the, our Etsy page. Our Etsy is uh, the Cranberry Cornstock Company. So go check us out on Etsy. And uh, we have a website as well. You can check us out directly. It's the cranberrycornstock.com. Super easy. Uh, someone had asked me recently that they couldn't find me. Cornstalk is spelled C-O-R-N-S-T-A-L-K, so not S-T-O-C-K. So that might be help be helpful to you guys to find us that way. And um, yeah, if you're a retailer and you want to purchase wholesale, reach out to us. And um, I think that's everything I got for you this week, guys. Thanks for stopping back at the Cranberry Cornstalk YouTube channel.
guys, so I thought I'd tell you a little bit how we start making our soaps. As you can see here, we have our butters that we start with. Now normally when you think of palm oil, you think of a liquid or coconut oil here, you think of a liquid, but as you can see, they're the butters that we use in our soaps. And as far as coconut oil, it helps hydrate your skin and it shields you from environmental toxins. It softens your skin, I can tell you that for sure. It diminishes the signs of aging and it boosts your nutrient factor. Now that's that's what coconut oil does. Now when you think of palm oil, it has a high content of antioxidants, which we all know is great for us. It has carotenes and restores healthy fats in your skin. And then they say also it's an anti-cancer and anti-aging property additive. So that's, that's pretty amazing within itself. I don't know about you guys, but the more I can help in those areas, the better. We also have our mango butter here that we're using and just amazing ingredients in our soaps. We pride ourselves in our soap because we use them at our own homes as well. That's how this whole thing started with the soaps. We just started out making them for the aesthetic of it and the how sweet they looked in a primitive setting but then once we got a really good recipe down we can't stop making it because it's just amazing. Our skin is so soft and everybody seems to love our soaps. We sell all of it constantly we make it constantly it's just an amazing thing and i thought i'd just give you a little insight as to how we make our soaps here at the very beginning stages of um, the soap bars and you'll see as i progress along there are some more of a liquid um, there's olive oil and i showed you earlier palm oil but there's some liquids that we do add but for the most part they're a creamy consistency and they all have skin benefits for your skin as well so keep watching, I'll show you how I mix it after this, and then I'll go on to making loaves and show you what the look, loaves look like in, when we place them into a store.
Okay guys, so I thought I'd share with you, we had to change out the wax melters. I don't think I've ever put this on video, so just something new for you to show you uh, how we switch out the wax. Now this one, I am filling the vat up with soy wax, and you can see it comes shaved like that whenever I put it in. And in a few minutes I'll show you how the paraffin comes in, which is a harder slab of wax. So we, it's a different... Uh, double boiler or vat or whatever you want to call them wax melter so I'll just show you how we do that uh, filling them up and they are heavy so I I kind of uh, get a little bit of help with these <laughs> if anybody's walking by they get they get to help me and my hubby he's kind enough to help me always lift them up but um, just wanted to show you a little bit about how we do that part 